Spatial variation in brightness and chrominance is arguably the greatest obstacle to achieving seamlessness in tiled projector displays. In this paper, we present a new method that addresses both the variation in brightness and chrominance in such displays by morphing the spatially varying color gamuts in a smoothly constrained manner. We use perception-based constraints to assure visually pleasing results. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first work that addresses spatial variations in both brightness and chrominance across the whole display. Even when tiled displays are made from projectors of the same make and model as in our display, they show a substantial color variation across the entire display. We visualize the spatial variation in color gamut here. The chrominance gamut, shown by the triangle, changes as we move from one point in the display to another. We visualize the brightness of the display by the brightness of the triangle. Note that this also changes significantly as we move from one point in the display to another, especially when we cross the overlap regions. Essentially, any flicker in the brightness or discontinuity in the changing shape of the triangle signifies a sharp discontinuity of color. Hence, we see distracting color variations across the display. Our gamut morphing method consists of three steps. First, we morph the two-dimensional chrominance gamut of one projector to that of another over an overlap region. This is achieved by precisely controlling the individual brightness contributions from each projector, assuring that the chrominance gamut is morphed in a smooth and constrained manner across the overlap regions. Although the chrominance gamut now morphs smoothly across the display, we can still see fast changes in brightness. To address this, we next apply the perceptual photometric seamlessness method described by Majumter and Stevens in 2005. By doing this, we mitigate the quick changes in brightness based on a perceptual constraint. However, this method does not ensure C1 continuity in the brightness variation. And thus, we apply Bezier-based smoothing in the log domain. This assures C1 continuity. Here we visualize the chrominance gamut and the brightness of our display after our correction procedure has been completed. Note that the chrominance gamut and the brightness vary smoothly across the display. Since both our brightness and chrominance morphing is achieved by controlling only the brightness of each projector, our correction can be achieved with only per projector brightness attenuation maps. Thus each step of our method generates an attenuation map for each projector. The resultant three maps are multiplied together to create the final attenuation map. This comprises our offline calibration process. The simplicity of the brightness attenuation maps allow us to achieve real-time, content-independent correction on both planar and curved displays using a texture lookup-based GPU implementation. Unlike previous works, our smooth gamut morphing allows us to project flat colors without any artifacts. Here's a comparison of our method with simple RGB blending. and with the perceptual photometric seamlessness method described by Bajumter and Stevens in 2005. Our method has realized, for the first time, a truly seamless tiled display whose constituent projectors cannot be detected by observers.